Welcome back everybody to the Meeple Marathon. Today we're going to be playing Wingspan using the uh, Automa Factory or Solo AI variant that you know comes in the box. Um, this is um, one of my favorite kind of Automa Solo AI games. Um, you know, normally this is a competitive multiplayer game. Um, the solo AI, I think, does a great job of just kind of pitting you, get, making you change up your strategy, things like that, messing with you a little bit. But in general, this is just a, a fun game to play. It's a very colorful, um, you know, I, I could care less about birds. I'm not a, you know, bird watching type of person. Um, but the card art is beautiful and the boards are beautiful and the eggs are fun. So I highly recommend this game. <clears throat> Um, just in general, and I know that it can be played on Tabletop Simulator, it can be played on Tabletopia, um, things like that. So if you don't own the game or know someone that owns the game to borrow it or don't want to buy the game, then go play it uh, digitally. Anyways, um, to just give a brief overview of the game for those of you not familiar, essentially this is a tableau builder. You're building out your bird sanctuary and it becomes your engine. Um, every round you'll take one of these action cubes, so I am red and the Automa is blue, and I will place it somewhere on my board here, almost like a, a worker placement cube. Uh, more than likely I'll start somewhere probably like play a bird. So if I play it up here at the top, I can play a bird into the left most. I have to start from the left and work my way to the right. And I not only have to pay food, so for example here, you can see this bird's gonna require two worms and a wheat in order to put out in my sanctuary. But also, as I get further on, I have to pay eggs to um, play birds into my uh, onto my board as well. I can also gain food. So I place my cube onto here and whichever thing I'm able to place it into, say for example here, I can pick up two dice out of the birdhouse uh, dice tray here and get a food token for each, you know, so like here I could pick up two worm tokens. Um, now, the more birds I play into my forest area, you always put your cube on the far left empty space. So say I have two birds filled up here, I get to place my cube here and get two food. At first here, I'm only gonna be able to place my cube here because I'd have no birds available. And then once I have a full thing, you can see I get the choice of three food from the dice tower, and I could also discard a card, a bird card, to gain a fourth one. Uh, that essentially goes for all three of these rows. So here I get to lay eggs on birds, and you can see birds have a certain value of eggs you can lay on them. They also have a certain type of nest that they lay into. So this guy can effectively hold two eggs on them, whereas this guy could hold four. Um, and obviously you need eggs to uh, play new birds, but also activate. And you also get a point for every egg that's on your board at the end of the game. <clears throat> a single point. And down here, this is draw cards. This is how you get more bird cards into your hand to then be able to play. So a very straightforward thing would be place a bird down, gain food, lay eggs down, draw bird cards. Essentially, I will take my cube. I will choose what action I want to do. Um, I'll do that single action, then the Automa will take a turn and I'll explain the Automa, how the Automa works here in a second. Now, uh, as you lay birds out, say for example, I have the Bewix Wren out here and I decide to gain a food. So I'm gonna gain a single die and I may discard a card to gain a second die who's worth of food. Then you start working your way backwards and any uh, bird that you hit it has a brown banner on here, you get to activate. So this says when activated, if this bird is to the right of all other birds in its habitat, move it to another habitat. Um, so that's a little different. Let's find a more simpler one here. How about uh, the hooded merganser? When activated, repeat one power in this habitat. Well, that's not a good one either. Um, anyways, um, I'm not going to start messing up the deck here, but you can see that as you actually here, these are the cards I decided to discard. Let me find one here. 
Um, okay, so this one says, when activated, discard an egg from any of your other birds and gain one uh, random token of your choice, a wild token of your choice from the supply. So when I activated this, I'd have to have a, I would have to have an egg on another bird and I'd have to take that off to get a free food. Um, all of this will become much more aha once I start to play. It is a very simple, straightforward game. Um, each round, this game is only four rounds. I have specific goals, me and the Automa, which are we're gonna be going after. So in this first round, we're looking for eggs, simply the amount of eggs in this uh, prairie grassland area here. So whoever has the most amount of eggs on top of birds in this row right here will gain four points towards the end of the game scoring, second place first, and then so on and so forth. Um, so that goal is going to change each round. Um, other than that, you simply play until you've used up all your cubes, then you're gonna take one of them to score where you belong on the end of round scoring sheet. So essentially every other round after that, you have one last action. So by the fourth round, you actually only have five actions to take instead of eight. But at that point, your engine has been built up even more. So you've got your four actions that you can take. You can take one action per turn. You either play a bird, gain food, lay eggs, draw bird cards. Now, when the automas turn, we are going to flip over this automa, the top card in the automa deck here, and we'll look to see which action lines up with round one, and we'll complete that action. Um, this is their bonus card. This essentially just tells me, helps me decide which birds to pull off when they're drawing or gaining birds. Other than that, they don't score this. For me, my bonus card currently is birds that can only live in the grassland area. So, for right now, this is the only bird out there that can only live in the grassland area. This guy can live in all three, so he doesn't count. So I'm going to be going after this bird, and if I can get four or more, I'll score eight victory points at the end of the game. Um, but essentially, the Automa is going to uh, do his single action, and then it kicks back to me. So this will go pretty quickly once we get started. Um, when you gain food from the birdhouse, you remove the dice out like this, and at any point there's a single die left, or say they all have the same symbol, so there's a single food option left, you can re-roll the dice, or obviously if somebody has picked up all the dice out, you can re-roll them back in. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I have gained my food, uh, and then I paid my one berry to keep this one card, discarded four other cards that I didn't want to keep, and I get the first turn. So, to be able to play this guy, I'm going to need an additional worm. So right off the bat, I'm going to go right here. There's no other birds. So I'm going to pick up this worm die, put it out, and gain a worm token. I keep shifting, but there's no cards to activate, so now it's the Automa's turn. All right, so here's the first Automa card. You can see this is telling us two things. One, he's going to, and you know what? I should have taken that card first. Son of a Zanzibar. Um, okay, he's going to do this action and he's going to add one cube up here. And I'll explain that in a second. But this action here means he takes all three of those, discards them, and then he gains one card face down. This card is going to be worth uh, three points at the end of the game. You can increase the difficulty of the AI by saying it's worth four or five points. Uh, this token over here that told us to place this on this over here is saying that he gets one point. This is essentially his one egg on a grassland area. So it may tell us to add more, it may tell us to remove more, but right now he's winning because I don't have any eggs in the grassland area. All right. And I also was thwarted by being able to gain the card I wanted, but there's another one, so that's pretty good. Unfortunately, that guy cannot hold any eggs, so this is continues to kill my plan. All right, so let's see here. Um, do I wanna go ahead and play my bird? 
No, not yet. That's not worth it. But that allow me to draw extra cards and he can, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a bird. Technically you're supposed to put it up there and then move it left, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm putting this guy here. I am paying my two, three food that he needs back to the supply and I don't need to pay with any eggs. That is my entire action. So over to the Automa turn and he is gaining. Now this is, that other symbol was discard the three cards and gain a face down card. This one is gain cards from here that meet his criteria. So he's looking for birds that can only live in the wetlands area. Again, this guy doesn't count. He can live in two different areas. So since none of these guys work, he gets a face down card. That was actually beneficial to us. If this guy had been a wetland only character, he would have earned an eight point card just like that. So it's actually, we, we lucked out there. All right, so back over to us. I need some cards to play towards. So since I already played this guy, <clears throat> actually, no, let's lay some eggs. So I technically would have put that there laid two eggs. This guy can accept two eggs. And um, there we go. All right, because I want to be able to draw two cards next turn. Okay, Automus turn. All right, this means he's going to take something from the food supply. He's going, and then he's going to look for rats first, then fish, then berries. So there's a rat here. He simply just removes that die. Makes me not able to take it. Then I get to activate all pink powers. Normally pink powers in a multiplayer game are activated when some other player does something. And then I can say, ooh, you did this, so I get to activate this bird. Well, since there's no other players doing that, the automa tells me when I can activate all my pink actions. Unfortunately, this says when another player takes the lay eggs action, this bird lays one egg on another bird with a matching nest, which would have been that bird that he took away from me the very first turn. So I've got nothing that I can do. All right, so it's back to me. Now I'm going to take this action. I'm going to take this bird here because he uh, fulfills my um, end game goal. And I'm going to pay one egg to draw. And I don't really want either one of these, so I'm gonna draw a random one from here. It's kind of like a ticket to ride, that you can pick from what's there, or you can draw randomly from the top. Okay, <clears throat> so after my turn, I then refill this. Okay, and that was my turn. So let's move back over to the Automa. The Automa, again, is looking for birds that can only live in wetlands. None of those work. So he is taking that back to me. So you can see how this gets going pretty quickly here. Now, right now, my only food is this here. So, unfortunately, I need to get some birds up here to be able to play this, this out better or to get more food every time I take that action. Hmm, takes the lay eggs action. This bird lays one egg on another bird with a such nest, and I don't have any of those birds. Okay, so let's again get some food. I get a single action and I need a worm. So we're gonna take a worm. All right, Automa's turn. Now what I could really use is for the Automa to steal some food for me so I can reroll the dice. The Automa's gonna gain one egg. I'm just gonna put it right here because all that is good for is end game scoring. All right, now for me, what I need is, I either need wheat or berries, neither of which is in here. These are two different food types, so I can't reroll the food. I don't want to have anything to do with those guys. Um, so let's go ahead and draw some more cards. I'll put my activation token here. I'm going to discard an egg and I'll take the top two cards. All right, we got a uh, Cassian Sparrow, which is nice, and a Common Loon. Uh, players with the fewest blank birds draw a card. When activated, lay one on a bird. So both of this guy can definitely be helpful. Let's aim to try and get this guy out as soon as possible. Because this guy can combo with this guy. Fortunately, I only have two more actions to do all that. 
Okay, so um, here, first of all, this symbol on the end means we're actually going to take this one away. And then he's going to do this again, which is actually kind of helpful to us because I didn't like those cards anyways. He takes that, and then we refill. And there's another prairie-only bird for us, which is helpful. Okay, all right. So I have two more actions. Um, but I don't know how I'm going to turn, be able to turn that into getting this guy out on the board and laying eggs on him. I just don't think it's going to happen. So, <clears throat> let us take food again, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and take the worm. No. We're going to take the fish. All right. No. Sorry. Take the worm. Okay. All right. That's all I get to do. Automa takes a turn. He is getting an egg and he's removing a cube, but he doesn't have any. And then it's back to me. And unfortunately, I don't have what I need. I am desperately short on food. This is not a very good first round. So, since there's only one type of food left, I get to reroll all these. And that's what I get right there. Okay. So, I need wheat. I'm going to take this out, and I'm going to take my wheat. All right. On his last turn. Now, he steals the food. He is looking for this combo die. He's going to take that one. And I get to activate my powers, which, again, I don't have any other birds okay so that's the end of round one pretty quick now we look over here and you can see that there's this round one scoring card that tells us how much the ai player is going to score he's got no additional and for this one eggs in grasslands he starts with a base of one so unfortunately he is going to score here he's going to get four points and unfortunately for me i get zero because i didn't have any you have to have at least one to be able to score uh, on the goal tracker. So not a very good start for me here. All right, now we're gonna be looking for eggs on that type of nest, which I don't have any, but I can get this guy. So um, these two guys will probably be my next focus. All right, for the Automa play, there's a specific card in here we have to remove. This one that says remove after round one. So I'm going to pull that one out. Oh, you know what? Those guys are going to go away. So it doesn't even matter. Shuffle the Automa deck. And these three all disappear. And we bring out some more. Ooh, that's a funky, funky looking fella. Okay, all right, so there's at least another grassland guy, but uh, they don't have the right, yeah, hmm. Okay, so, another bird with a nest, okay, which could be that guy. All right, so I get to start. Um, let's go ahead and play a bird. So I'm going to play this bird here. All right. I'm going to pay my two food. I don't need any eggs. And that was my action. So Automa now. Let me to flip this around. So now we're looking at round two. He's going to take... He gets to take this card, which kind of hurts. Um, there's no other cards like him in that area, so... And then he gets to add a cube. So that was a pretty good card for him. Okay. Now, I would like to be able to either take this card. Probably would be the next best thing. So, I need a wheat now, but there's no wheat. Hmm. And I need a wheat for this guy as well. Hmm. Unactivated game one from the supply. That's going to give me lots of birds. 
So, hmm. okay. All right, so let's get some eggs out here. I get two eggs. So now you get to see a brown banner go into play. I'm gonna put those two eggs right here, and then I move over here, and this says, when activated, lay an egg on any bird. So there we go. Boom. Actually got three eggs out of the deal. Autumn's turn. He is gonna do this, kill off all the birds, and pick three new ones. All right. I don't want any of these. He wants that one. But I don't know if it's worth taking just to steal it from him. Okay. So now what I really need for him to do is take something from the food. So take something from the food. So let's go ahead and play a bird. So I'll technically put it there. I'll play this duck and I have to give up two food. So I'm gonna give up these two because it's a fish and any wild, and that's it. Oh, and I have to give up an egg, so we'll do that. Okay, Automa turn. Not what I was looking for, but it does remove this cube and takes two more eggs. All right, um, then it's my turn, so I'm really kind of just flopping in the breeze here. Let's... Draw some cards. So I draw two cards. I don't need either of these, so let's take some here. All right, neither of these guys are gonna be helpful for me. Um, well, that's interesting. So this guy, the American White Pelican, says when activated, I can discard a fish resource to tuck two cards from the deck behind this bird, and those that'll be two points at the end of the game. Um, so, all right, so moving along, when activated, players with the fewest birds, and when you play these type of cards where you're, you're referring to another player, you act as if the automa doesn't exist. So, um, I get to draw a card. Question is, do I draw this one so he doesn't take it? I think I do, because that's like a two-point swing for him. So just to keep it out of his hands, I'm gonna draw that guy, and then we will refill. Okay, I do want that one. And then we go down here. All right, let's see what the autumn is doing. Round two, he's taking two more eggs. That's it. Okay, so do I take cards again? I do like this guy, and he's gonna give me some bonus cards. So I'll take two more cards, and I take this guy, and we'll take the top one. I will also take a third one because of this power, and I'll move on down. Okay. All right, got me a wild turkey. Mm. Got lots of cards to discard, but I don't have any cards out that I can tuck them under. So I guess I can spend them like right here to get additional food. But I gotta get somebody up there. I need better food. I need more food. Okay. Autumn's turn. He is, whoops, so this should have come up here, which would have been good for me. But he's gonna kill them all. He's gonna gain one face down. Two, three. Okay. All right. So I got two actions left that I can take here. I don't have any ability. I don't have any birds to play down. So I'm again going to miss out on this uh, goal. I really need him to just take some food. That guy wants wheat and worms. That guy wants fish. That guy wants berries. Nobody wants fish and rats.
Hmm. All right, so let's take some food. Let's take the fish. That's it. He's going to... No! Now he takes this action. He is going to re-roll first. Lots of berries. And he wants the rat. Okay. So then I guess I am going to take... What do I want? I guess I want the wheat. Definitely want the wheat. Yeah. Okay. Automa gets one more turn. He's going to be looking for this guy. That's it. And he's going to add a cube. We already know he was going to beat me, so that's that. I didn't have any birds that filled that, so I have to give up a cube there. And that's it. Uh, these all go away. So again, I lost out on another one. Okay. So, looks like this guy could be very helpful. All right. So, let's see. What do we need to be able to do that? We're going to need two. Okay. So, let's start off by picking up these birds so nobody else gets them. Go ahead and draw another one. All right. There is no hand limit. I can have as many birds as I want. All right. Forgot to reset Automa, remove this card, shuffle this deck. So now we're looking for birds up here in this region. I have a few of those I could play. So I need some berries. Need some berries next. Okay. So we flip this over to round three, and he's getting two eggs and a cube. All right. Okay, so for me, I need some berries at this point. Um, yeah, neither one of these guys is really getting me anything, so. Okay, food again. My food production the entire game has been awful. All right, Automa's turn. He's getting, he's taking this cube off and he's getting three more eggs. And I am finally going to play a bird up here. Okay, so I have to pay no eggs and these two guys back to the supply. All right, let's just kind of figure out organize these a little better. Okay. All right. Autumn's turn. He is looking for probably that one. Okay, so this one's worth zero, but that's what he wants. And he gains a cube. Okay, my turn. So, I don't want a whole bunch more cherries. Need some more wheat. Mm. That guy would give me cherry and a wheat. Um, hmm. Oh, but I can re-roll. Okay, so finally here, I'm gonna be able to activate the food, which will allow me to re-roll all these dice. All right. And then I can discard a card to get a second one. So, discard you. So I'm gonna get to pick two things out. Um, the wheat and the cherry, maybe? Or that one. 
That one can go anywhere. But I don't have what it takes to get to that guy. So let's play the wild turkey. So we want these two to come out. Wheat and that. Okay, and then we get to gain one worm from the supply. And then we're done. Okay, Automa. Adama is searching. He doesn't get one, so he's going to take this one. And he's adding a cube. So just for reference, round three, we are on round three. Birds in, let's say, he's starting at a base of two. So he's got four now. I have one. All right. So I am going to... Play this bird here. He's gonna get it. I'm gonna pay with this. And I have to pay an egg. Okay. Hmm. Okay, he slides over. He is, let's see here. Round three, he's looking for the cherries. And I could activate my pink powers, which is actually going to allow me to put an egg right. This bird lays one egg on another bird with a such and such nest. Okay. All right. So, unfortunately, I don't have anything that can get me playing up there. Nope, nope, nope. A single worm. What do I need? What do I need? I need some more food for the future here. So let's see here. I can, I know I'm going to get a worm there and I need some wheat. So I'm going to take the opportunity to re-roll all of these. There's lots of wheat. Okay. So I'm actually going to take two wheat for my two actions, boom, boom, and gain a worm here, boom. Okay, the Audubon player is simply killing off, oh, that would have been a great one to take, but it would also have been very expensive. All right, and three new cards, boom. Boom, and boom, okay. All right, so we can take this away. We already know he won, but I did at least score, so I get second place. It's not too bad. All right, and now we're on to the fifth round. I'm looking for um, birds with that type of nest. So like this bird would count. That's the only thing I have in my repertoire that would count. Okay, so I need some cherries, I guess. Yeah, need some cherries. All right, so these guys are all gonna go away. This is the end of the round. And I need to remove this one. Shuffle these up. I think I'm gonna lose. All right, so let's see, how can we maximize our efforts here? Um, all right, I don't want any of that food currently. I need to get as many points out there as possible. So let's play a bird here, paying 
that to put you here. Okay. Boom. Okay. Good. Automa's doing exactly what I needed. He's taking a rat. Oh. And I get to activate this so I can put you here. And that's it. All right. Let me make sure the Automa takes. Uh, if all the dice follow the key left to right, match first face type and remove all of those dice. Okay. So, yes, he does take all of them. Perfect. That's what I needed. All right. So then I'm going to come here and I'm going to take some food. First, I'm going to reroll the dice. Come on, Cherry. No. Did not get what I needed. All right. Um, hmm. Okay. So let's go through this systematically here. I could use some fish, some worms. I know I'm going to get one worm, but I'm going to need more. So let's go ahead and take you to gain one worm. I need, I need a cherry, but I'm not going to get it. So I'm going to take you to gain a wheat. And I'm going to discard you gain a third one and I'm going to say another worm come back through here and I'll get a third worm okay all right he is sweeping through here again he is one card Okay, so this guy, all three of these guys can help me. But this guy can score me points at the end of the game here. Just for reference, he is going to be scoring three plus any other cubes he puts over there. And I don't have anything right now. That's a three-point swing at the end of the game, too. He's gotten first every single time. All right. So what I need is cherries. I need that card. I've only got two cubes left, so this is not going well. All right, so let's play another bird. It's gonna have to go in this category here, so I'm going to have to give up an egg, and I have to give up a worm and two wheat. This guy has an automatic power, draw two new bonus cards and keep one. So, can I... Birds that eat uh, randomness, birds with less than four points. One, two, okay. Well, I guess we'll keep this. It doesn't hurt me. To have that out. All right, Automa is doing this again. Okay, there's another guy I could claim, but that's a whole action I'd have to take. So let's just get some more out here. Um, let's play another bird. It's gonna cost me an egg off a hen and a wheat. All right. And I need five birds to get three victory points and I've only got one, two, three. And one more action left, so that's not gonna happen. All right, the Automa is gaining three eggs and a cube, like he needed the extra help. And for me, I've only got the ability to put one more thing out there. So I will again play a bird. Play, oh, but I don't have any eggs. 
Oh no. No eggs. No eggs. So, there's really nothing I could do that's worth anything. Yep. There's literally like nothing I can do. So I don't have any eggs. Oh, I'll just gain eggs. Well, that makes sense. That's gonna give me end game scoring. So, uh, I will give up a food die to be able to put four eggs out. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's a brown one. All right. Um, and this guy's gonna give me a fifth one. So, one. This doesn't matter. Where these all go, put them out anywhere. Okay, boom, 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 I took care of that one. Now I'm done, Automa gets his last turn. He's gonna get three more eggs. You can put a cube out there, but it's not worth it. So we already know he's getting that. I at least do have one, so I will get second place. All right, so let's count up the score here real quick. I don't get any points for cards left in my hand. Let's count his up first. All right, he's got, Count up his eggs. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, seventeen. He's getting uh, twenty-one, twenty-six, thirty-two, thirty-nine points from there, and he's gaining. What did I say? 39 and another 11. So that's 50. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is 27. So 77 points. That's pretty good. I don't even have close to 77 points. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've got nothing here. And I've got an additional seven, so that's 12. Um, I get three points here, so that's 15. I did not get to that mark. 15, and then I've got, here's another 15, so there's 30. 35, 44. 56. 56 is every zone. So that is a rather. Oh, and that was playing on easy with the Automa. Having him take every single one of these was a huge swing. Um, we're talking three, 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 three. So that's 12 across the board. He. If he takes away 12 points, he's at 65. And if I gain 12 points, I am at, we're like roughly tied, essentially. So I did not play well either way. Um, maybe we will get a revenge game in here soon because I don't really want that to be my uh, legacy of getting my butt whooped in Wingspan. But anyways, I hope you learned how to play uh, Wingspan using the Automa deck. Again, you can uh, play this version on Tabletop Simulator or Tabletopia with the Automa deck. Everything's the same. Um, so in, just in general, I highly recommend this game for solo play. It's a good little thinker. goes by pretty quickly when you're not talking everything through. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.